For this build, I'm creating a double cut shape based on the very famous uh, version of this by um, one of the originators of the electric guitar. And even though I'm reusing this shape, uh, I don't want to make it an exact copy by taking you know all the hardware and the pick guards that go along with it. So what I'm gonna do is actually design the pick guard on this guitar um, using tape and a pencil uh, and then once I figure out my shape, I'll, uh, I'll cut around this just to make sure I like what I see. And then I'll take this tape off and actually um, put it on the pick guard material. I ordered um, a sheet of this, this pick guard material uh, off of Amazon. Uh, it seems pretty, pretty decent. Um, it's tortoise shell, then white, black, white. So it should have um, you know, a little bit of presence as I cut it. And then um, once I put my template on there, I'll probably use my bandsaw to cut this out. And then, you know, whether you use sandpaper or a chisel of some sort, put a little bit of a bevel on it and hopefully it works out. So uh, let's get started with the tape and uh, see how this goes. I have my tape on here now. Um, you can see that I've covered over the where the neck pickup would be. I routed out this section for flexibility, and then I thought about it. I really want to do something simple with a, a one bridge pickup uh, here. And so, the good thing about this is, of course, that the the plastic pick guard will go right over top of that, and so it will be um, part of the body, but you won't see it once I do the pick guard. And then. The other things I did was to make sure to tape around this neck joint here. I, as I mentioned in another video, I wasn't sure if I could glue this neck in or not. And in fact, I started out with a bolt neck. And so I ended up doing this uh, a little bit of a taper where the, the neck spreads out a little bit. And so I'm gonna need to cut sort of that trapezoid shape into my um, pick guard material as well. And so by, by putting the flat pieces of tape in this way first, um, I'll hopefully get that angle uh, correct and, and nice and, and tight to the, um, to the neck. And then I brought the, the tape up here. I, I'm definitely not gonna go this high. Um, now what I'm gonna do is, is take my pencil and actually draw in a shape to tr start figuring out where I'm gonna put the pick guard material. And then I'll finally use my utility knife and actually cut that out, make sure I really like what this looks like uh, before I commit to cutting this pick guard out. As I was going through drawing this and marking in pencil areas, um, it was really um, eye-opening to me uh, how much tape and how much plastic this would actually be if I, um, you know, did something this whole size. Um, I'm going to be painting this TV yellow, but even still, I don't want to have, you know, half the guitar covered up with pick guard. And so what I ended up doing was drawing in uh, an, an angle coming here and then a bit of a swoosh. It sort of follows this edge line, but not, not too closely, and then comes up and, and comes right into the, the back of the uh, bridge pickup cavity. Over here, I went up and actually did a little bit of a swoop towards the, the horn, brought this in a little bit, and then I'm ending it at the top here. And so this should be a much smaller area, uh, should be bring a little bit of movement to the guitar. So now what I'm gonna do is actually cut this out with my uh, utility knife and just check to make sure that it's what I wanna see. Overall, I'm pretty pleased on how this turned out. There's a, a straight line here, um, but that swoosh kind of, you know, softens it up a little bit. Um, there's still plenty of area, you know, if there were to be a, a second pickup um, to either do the humbuckers to have the screws here or the P90s where the screws go down through the top. And so, you know, that's good. And then, you know, I have this area over here coming in to 
um, you know, the, the front of the rear pickup and then have this swoop coming down almost to the, to the edge here. And so I like how this looks. Um, second guessing whether or not to go to, with tortoise shell or not. So maybe leave a comment. Uh, I have three sheets. I've got a white one, a black one, and a tortoise shell one. Um, again, this is going to be TV yellow. So it seems to be customary that either black or tortoise shell uh, is the choice. Um, and then I'm also going to do a little bit of research uh, on how you actually cut out pick guards. I think I can probably use my bandsaw, um, but part of me is also thinking about making an MDF template uh, and seeing if I can do this with the router. And so I'll end this video here um, and then you know do my research. And then uh, hopefully I'll be able to cut that out soon and start to do some finishing on this body. Thanks for watching.